Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly videos right here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a business card holder. So let's go over the supplies we need to make our business card holder. We're starting out with our two fabric pieces here. This is going to be for the inside lining and then for whatever is showing on the back side here. And we have two pieces that measure five inches this way by six inches the other way. And you're going to need to cut a lightweight fusible interfacing to the same size as these two. Okay, so each one of these is going to go fused to these pieces. Then we have two smaller chunks here that are going to make up the inside pockets for our business cards. These measure three inches by five inches and you need two of those as well. For our closure here, I have some really thin elastic, but you can also use a hair tie in a pinch. You're going to need a button for the closure, some thread, hand sewing needle, and then your basic sewing supplies, of course, like a rotary cutter with the ruler, the cutting mat, pins, an ironing board, and an iron, and then, of course, a working sewing machine. To prep our pieces, we're going to start with our bigger ones here and get my little fusible piece. Make sure that you have the fusible or the bumpier side going toward the wrong side of the fabric and we're going to fuse this in place. This is just going to add a little uh, extra body and bulk to the fabric so that our little business card holder isn't too flimsy. So that's one and we're going to repeat that to the other big piece. All right, so the big pieces are prepped. Now we're gonna move on to the smaller ones. And these are gonna be our pockets. So lay it so that it's going horizontally, the lengthwise this way, and flip it. We're gonna hem one of these long edges. So to do that, I'm just folding it in a quarter of an inch. You can eyeball this, it doesn't have to be perfect. And press that down. That's one. And then we're gonna do that again so that we're encasing the raw edges. Okay, and you can see I have another one done here already. Now we're going to take these to the sewing machine and you can pin it if you want to. And we're just going to stitch it close to this bottom edge here and do that to the other one as well. So we've hemmed both of our pockets here and they're ready to start layering all these pieces together. You're going to lay one of the outer pieces of fabric lengthwise, right, so that the six inches is going horizontally for you. And then we're going to place these pockets so that the raw edge, this is our hemmed edge, but the raw edge should be flush with the raw edge on that side. And again, the hem should be going towards the center because that's going to make up our pockets. You can see here, this is the side that's hemmed so that both those sides need to be going towards the center. Okay, so we have that there. One, and this is a quick little sandwich with that. And then our other big piece, we're going to flip it so that the pretty side of the fabric is facing down. And we're going to start pinning this all around. But before we pin it around, let's go ahead and put in our little elastic closure because it needs to go in on the center of one of the short sides. It doesn't matter which side, just pick one. And so to do that, I like to cut just about three inches. Three inches is about there. So I have a three inch piece here of my elastic. It's nice and stretchy. And to find the center point here, I'm just gonna carefully fold this over and kind of scratch it with my finger. And there I have a little crease. So I'm gonna fold this in half and you want the loop to go towards the inside. All right, and you're putting it between this top piece of fabric and the pocket. And what I always like to do is to put a little bit so that the ends stick out just a little bit and that way I can make sure that I'm stitching it in place when I go around with the sewing machine. So you can pin that there just to hold it steady. And we're gonna place some pins all the way around and we're gonna stitch around, but we are going to leave an opening. And I prefer to leave an opening on the opposite side of this here, so that I'm not leaving any openings or messing with the pockets or anything like that. So if you insert the elastic on one end, go ahead and leave about a two to three inch opening on the opposite edge. So I've sewn all the way around, making sure to pivot on all four corners. And remember, my elastic is on this end, so I left a little opening on this side. Before we flip it inside out, I like to go ahead and clip the corners. And sometimes if you have a little excess interfacing sticking out, you can trim that too, but just clip the corners. That'll help reduce some bulk. And on the side of the elastic, I like to leave it out. I don't bother trimming that off because I don't want it to, when it's getting tugged, for it to pull out completely. So just leave a little tail there, no big deal. And then we're going to take it to our opening here. And you want to make sure that you're flipping it inside out in the right spot. Because if you get it in the wrong spot, you're going to grab a pocket. So you want to make sure that you're grabbing it between this top layer of the outside fabric and whatever your pocket fabric is. 
okay? You should be looking at two pretty sides of fabric when you go to reach in there and grab it. If you grab it under the pocket, you'll be seeing a right side of one fabric and the wrong side of another. That's how you know it's wrong. So make sure that you're reaching in between where you see two right sides of fabric, all right? Now we're gonna flip it inside out here, pull out all our corners, and give it a good press. So once we've turned the whole thing inside out, you wanna go here to your opening, and I like to just tug on it a little bit with my fingers to get those raw edges to kind of fold inside, and then I'll take my iron and give the whole thing a really good press all the way around before I go back to the sewing machine and top stitch everything into place. So now for top stitching, and we wanna close up that opening there, we're gonna go, and about an eighth of an inch real close to this outer edge, I'm just gonna stitch all the way around, and that will do two things. It'll give it a nice little decorative top stitch, and we'll close up our hole here as well. All right, so I top stitched all the way around, and then I also went ahead and just added an extra line here just to help keep the three layers of fabric together, and all I did was fold it in half, and I creased it here with my nail, and then down that crease, I just did a straight stitching line right there. So let's show you how it's gonna work, just so you all can visualize it. You see it still has a little gap there for you to grab your business cards out of, and it's pretty much complete now, okay? All we have left to do is to add our button so we have an actual closure. Now to do that, you wanna close it up, and feel free to put it on there with the business cards inside so you can see how much it will hold. But as you can see, the elastic will stretch nicely. So I'm just gonna kinda lay my button right here, and if I stretch it, I know that it's pretty much gonna go over and it's still gonna be able to reach it. So we'll say somewhere around here. To find the exact center point, just fold it in half, crease it with your nail there, and right where you get it, just go a little bit ways up, maybe half an inch or so, and we're gonna take our hand sewing needle and some thread, and we're gonna stitch that in place. Now the important thing about stitching this button down is that you do not wanna go through the, butt, uh, through the pocket layer. Okay, because you can see if I stitch right through here, I'm gonna stitch through my pocket. So you have to keep in mind that there's a pocket there. We don't want it to close. So lay your button where you want it, and I'm pulling the pocket fabric back. So I can see right there's good. Okay, now I'm going, I'm pulling back on the, the pocket fabric so that I don't go through it when I'm stitching this button down. You see how I pull the fabric away? And so just continue to do that and stitch that little button right into place. And I like to wrap it around a few times to kind of give it a little bit of space for that elastic to go through. And just tie a little knot back here. So my button is in place. Let's load this baby up with some business cards and see what the final thing looks like. And you see it holds quite a bit of cards. And now I can just pull my little elastic over my button, fix it up a little bit, and there it is. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and saw how easy it is to make this little business card holder. It's not just for business cards, you can also use them for gift cards or just for taking some cash and a couple credit cards when you head out the door. They're a great scrap busting project and I hope that you'll give it a try. If you do, remember to upload pictures to my Facebook page and remember to share this across the different social media sites and hit it with that thumbs up below. Thanks again for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye.